Hello everybody and welcome to Kiwatia Street for the OFC Champions League match day three clash between Auckland City and AS Mondor. AS Mondor still looking for the first point and there is a look at the trophy that is up for grabs this season. A brand new trophy for a brand new version of the Continental Competition. Plenty at stake today. Another win for Auckland City would carry them closer to the semi-finals and almost certainly consign AS Mondor to the lower reaches of the Group B table. More of a training ground fixture than anything else today and it all began after just four minutes. The strength of Adam Dickinson was enough to take him past two players. He turned Matthew Hervo just outside the box and the rest, as they say, was uh, history. He beat the goalkeeper with uh, some considerable ease that got Auckland off to the perfect start. And the Auckland City faithful were happy nevertheless. Four minutes later, another goal. Wonderful first touch from Dickinson. This ball in from Albert Riera set Darren White up for the easiest of finishes. The marking again, the goalkeeping again, were all suspect and all White had to do was just keep it on target which he managed to do with uh, no problem. 2-0 Auckland City. Two minutes later another goal celebration coming up. Wonderful interchange of play between uh, Dickinson and Garcia. Gustavo Suto he won't score an easier goal than that the Spanish uh, striker. Goal number four came from a Pedro Garcia free kick, and it was Mario Bielan. Sorry, no, it was Chris Bale, again, with uh, more or less a free header at the far post. Kept it on target, was met with uh, minimal resistance, and Auckland with four goals to the good. Again, set piece is a problem for AS Mondor. Mario Bielan got on the score sheet with a deft header. The goalkeeping... Well, it wasn't great, was it? It was pretty far from great. And uh, Auckland City were already uh, well on their way. Four minutes later, Takawi Wata with a ball to the near post. Miscue from Suto. Darren White just teed it up for Albert Riera, who had an easy job to just give it a bit of curl with pace into the far corner. And Mondor were in tatters. Thirty-fourth minute, the pain just kept on coming. Takawiwata, first time ball in for Dickinson. The goalkeeper was uh, well out of his uh, six-yard box. He was almost playing like a sweeper. There was no need for that, and Adam Dickinson just stroked it calmly into the back of the net for his second. Thirty-seven minutes again from a set piece, and Bielan outdoing the goalkeeper who in all truth has been well and truly exposed by a defence that seem very disinterested in the most basic of marking. And then two minutes before the halftime break, Adam Dickinson completed a memorable first half for him. The goalkeeper, well, I'm sorry but that was uh, very poor goalkeeping and uh, still a job to do for Dickinson though, he'll enjoy it. It's a hat-trick for him. It puts him on a total of six goals for the Champions League for this season. As we look back on uh, the highlights of the second half, and it began with Jean-Pierre Bob cutting in on his right foot and then unleashing this wonder strike into the top left-hand corner of Tamati Williams' goal. That made it 9-1. Uh, and it gave Mondor a, a lift for a moment or two. It was a quality strike. And look how it just dipped under the crossbar. Probably the pick of uh, the goals. In an individual sense at least. 61 minutes. Auckland City were back on the goal scoring trail. Substitute Manel Exposito with his clever chip over the goalkeeper Joran Weimer. That made it 10-1. 
and was the first of a treble for the ex-Barcelona player. We only had to wait another four minutes and David Brown's cutback was blocked by a defender. He got a second crack at it. Look at the marking. No such thing in the Mondor book. And Manel Exposito kept his head, kept calm, kept it on target. And that made it 11 goals to one. Twelve minutes to go. And there was a goal. And uh, strangely enough, it was for Mondor. The attempted clearance by uh, Taku Iwata didn't quite come off. And then this left foot volley from Ramon Paibeni had too much on it for Tamari Williams. It was a good strike in fairness. That made the score 11-2. Nine minutes to go, and Iwata throwing was taken quickly. And the hat trick for Manel Exposito. You could see that he thought about uh, trying to lob it or perhaps play it into the path of David Brown, but then having witnessed uh, some of the goalkeeping today, he thought, why not? And let fire with uh, that left foot shot for the hat trick. Auckland City 12, AS Mondor 2. We can now go sideline with uh, Ramon Trebuliac, who was with uh, our reporter Olivier Hook. Playing the way we played, uh, they probably lost a little bit of the plot, which is understandable. Uh, so overall, we played uh, really well, so we are very happy with that. Uh, it's good for the Cobra average in this kind of competition. Yeah, we always know, and you know, it's good to score 12 goals. Uh, but you know, we, we just want to keep going. We don't even want to think about it. You know, we'll, uh, we've got a couple of games next week. Uh, that are going to be very tough, and that's our next, you know, target. Now, in uh, four days, you have a tough match against uh, Dragon here in uh, Trust Stadium. Yeah, the Tahitians are very good. I mean, we, we've been able to watch a couple of uh, their games. They look uh, very organised, especially out of position. So they're going to be very, very tough to break down for us. Uh, but you know, we'll, we'll be ready for it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Merci. Well, concern for. Ramon Trebuliac uh, over the well-being of uh, Darren White, suspected uh, broken ankle, but confirmation that Auckland City have won here today. It's been easy for them. They've outclassed AS Mondor by 12 goals to two. On behalf of uh, everybody at OFC TV and myself, Gordon Glenn Watson, it's been a pleasure bringing you the action, and we'll see you again next time. <laughs>